Hey there, my name is Alex, I am the Silvermont, and in this video we're going to cover the free trial for Final Fantasy XIV. A while back I made a starter guide for the game, but didn't think to cover the free trial, and I've seen a lot of questions on the topic. So that's what we'll go over in this video. Disclaimer time, this is an ad by Square Enix, who have sponsored this video. Likewise, as with any ongoing game, details and features can change in the future. But with that out of the way, let's get to it. First up, you're going to need a Square Enix account. You can only have one free trial account registered to your account. On your trial account, you can have up to eight characters, one per world or server. In 14, you have data centers, Japan, America, Europe, which are then split into multiple world servers. If you have friends who play the game, you're going to want to try and get onto the server they are on. But, thanks to the ability to travel between servers, between worlds, even if they are on a different one, you can still play with each other. Likewise, the game is available on PlayStation 4, Mac, PC, and Steam. Oh, and it has just released on PlayStation 5 as well, where you can enjoy vastly improved loading times. And it has full crossplay, meaning if you're on console and your friend is on PC, you can still do everything together. Let's say you are in the US, but your friends are in the UK, you can also go and play on the European data center, if you prefer. It's very easy to play together with your friends, and whilst you're able to make multiple characters spread across the worlds, it isn't required. One character can freely swap between every job and class in the game. You could have all of them leveled up, if you so wish. But, considering there are multiple races in 14, each with their own animations and emotes and gestures and so forth, you might want to try out more than one, right? Especially as you're going into the free trial, you've got to find the one you like. You can play as the human-like Highlanders, cat-like Mikote, the elven Elezen, the dwarf race Lalafell, or the hulking Rugadin, and even a scaled race of dragon-like humanoids, the Aurora. With the exception of the Viera and Hrothgar, you can create any of the available races in the free trial. Each race has two clans you can choose between. For example, the Elezen can choose between Wildwood and Duskwhites, and the Hyur are split between Midlanders and Highlanders. At time of writing, the free trial lets you go up to level 60. The current level cap is level 80, which will be rising to 90 with the release of Endwalker in the future. You're able to play through all of the base game content, A Realm Reborn, and the first expansion, Heaven's Ward. I would say, at a conservative guess, that's 100 hours of story content alone. But of course, everyone moves at their own pace. Heaven's Ward in particular has an exceptional story that's up there in the top 5 Final Fantasy stories for me. If I was ranking all of the Final Fantasy games, Heaven's Ward would probably be number 2. Number 1 would be Shadowbringer. You can play any content and class up to Heaven's Ward, which means you'll be able to play the majority of the classes in the game. However, you won't have access to Stormblood or Shadowbringer jobs. Gunbreaker, Dancer, Samurai, and Red Mage. But if you're looking for something a little more relaxed, the free trial also gives you access to all of the game's side activities, up to and including Heaven's Ward ones, of course. Do you want to go and gather some resources? Perhaps you want to craft some items? Why not both? Beyond that, there's the Gold Saucer, a large area you can reach early on in the game that's full of mini-games you can play to relax and win prizes. There's uh, Mahjong, Chocobo Races, Tests of Strength, and of course Triple Triad, the simple yet weirdly addictive card game from Final Fantasy VIII. But if you are looking for combat, there's plenty of that too. Whether you're in the endless deep dungeon, proceeding through floor after floor and avoiding traps to help level up your jobs, or going through one of the almost 50 dungeons available in the free trial. Then there's trials themselves. These are 8-man boss fights and one of the highlights of the 14 experience for me. There's more than a dozen unique trials in the free trial, as well as variations of them such as hard mode, extreme mode, a new experience that gives you more of a challenge, more mechanics, but better rewards too. And if you want even more players beside you whilst you pummel bosses, the free trial also includes two Alliance Raid series. These are 24-man raid dungeons. Each series is split into three, which means you have six Alliance Raids in total. 
in the free trial. Incidentally, if you are looking for guides one day for these trials or alliance raids, well, I have videos covering all of those. But wait, there's more. Of course, there are the level 50 and 60 raids, the Coil of Bahamut, which reveals the secrets behind A Realm Reborn, and the Heavensward raid series, Alexander, Giant Holy Robot. And each of these raid series is split into about roughly 12 parts, so that's like 12 different little mini dungeons or fights, however you want to think of them. And well, you might be thinking, with 50 dungeons and all these raids and alliance raids, and trials, I'm going to need some training. Well, other players will generally be happy to help explain various mechanics to you. There is a dedicated novice chat channel where you can ask for help, or you can check out my excellent videos. Not that I'm biased, but of course, the game also has a basic training series called the Hall of Novice, where you can learn the basic roles and gameplay expectations of you for a tank, a healer, and whatnot. You can also get some nice items out of them, so I would definitely recommend doing them. And finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention chocobos. Of course, it's a Final Fantasy game, so you get your own chocobo early on in the story, about level 20, I believe. Not only can you ride around on it and teach it to fly later on, but you can raise it as a fighting companion. Customizing your chocobo is entertaining by itself. You can have a more tank one, a magic healer one, whatever you like. There's also a lot of chocobo armor, purely cosmetic, to change its appearance if you want to put a funny hat on your chocobo. And you can even dye its feathers to a color of your choosing by feeding it various things. Now disclaimer, if you have like a chicken in real life, I wouldn't suggest just feeding it red berries to try and make it turn red, but you know, in Eorzea it's all good. It's just plain useful to have a chocobo that can heal you, if you're a DPS, right? Last of all, if you decide to upgrade from the free trial to the full game, all of your progress will of course carry over, so don't worry about having to start over again. You could get every single job to level 60 if you wanted to before you start buying and subscribing to the game. But that about does it though. If you have any other questions about the free trial, or anything else regarding the game, please do feel free to ask down below in the comments and I'll get back to you ASAP. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you in some way. And once again, this video was sponsored by Square Enix. Until next time though, you guys take care. Ciao.